Our district has a curriculum review process that follows best practices across the entire field of curriculum design. When a content area is up for review, whether it be math, literacy, or others, we have three phases in the process, evaluation, resource review, and implementation. Any review involves a partnership with teachers who represent every grade and every school. They provide input, collaboration, and leadership during every phase. And since we began this process last year, we've had over 85 teachers involved in councils and implementation teams. After the evaluation of resources, many teachers have the option to try out or pilot those resources rated highly within their classroom. In this review phase, it is essential to determine if it is the best fit for our students and staff based on our outcome data. The process has to be thorough and therefore resources aren't available to pilot every subject at once. We have to explore every aspect of our curricular resource for it to be properly implemented and staff need time for professional learning to be able to use it effectively. Specifically, the Literacy Council took the time needed to learn about best instructional practices in today's literacy world, to identify priority standards, and to create belief statements. The priority standards and belief statements are essential components to our district literacy framework and for when we adopt new core curricular resources for English and Spanish instruction. This is year two of fully implementing our math curricular resource, Illustrative Math. We have three priority goals that give us a common focus across the district and our math framework. And our math implementation team continuously reviews and monitors our student achievement and growth data. They also collect teacher feedback and advise necessary changes to best meet our students' needs. We have teachers in all grades along with coaches and administrators on our Social Science Council working through the evaluation phase now. And we're planning to pilot a core junior high curricular resource at the start of spring. The updated standards and core curricular resource for literacy will also serve as a guide as we revise our elementary social science. As far as science, we're already in year four with STEM scopes as our core resource, and this summer our team will continue to focus on strengthening our three-dimensional teaching and the next generation science standards. Then our council will begin the science curriculum process next school year. We are excited to share more highlights of teaching and learning in District 59 throughout the year, and we're eager to continue this work as we strengthen our curriculum for our students and staff. Thank you.